Mr. Tenbor and I are here today to teach you about the parts of speech. Wait, Go ahead. Say it again. What am I supposed to do? Go ahead. Noun. A person is a noun. Mr. Tenbor is a noun. I'm a noun. You're a what? Noun. You're a noun? Evelyn is a Doggy noun. A noun. <gasps> Doggy is a noun. Elsie, Elsie is a noun. Annie's a noun, Annie. I'm a noun, Mrs. Gosh is a noun. Mommy. Go. Another type of, type of noun is a place. Okay. The bathroom is a noun. The basement is a noun because the basement is a place. Messy is an adjective that describes the basement. We'll talk about those later. Uh, the backyard is a place. The backyard is a place. So it must be a? Okay. In the garage is a place. What's the noun? The garage. Garage. It's a place. So it's a noun. Go ahead. Mommy, Evelyn, hold on. My, my home is a I'm place. What is it? Home. Home is a place. So it's a? Noun. I'm doing dishes in the kitchen. That's a noun. Kitchen. Kitchen. That's a noun because it's a place. A thing is a noun. Anything you can touch is a thing. This wall is a thing. I touched it. It's a noun. Okay. Oh, he can touch Ooh. slime. That must be a noun. I can touch a water bottle. That's a noun. Mm -hmm. Look at this thing. The Game Boy is a noun. Mm -hmm. Now, the Game Boy is old. It is. Can you touch old or touch the Game Boy? Nope, I can only touch the Game Boy. So old must be an adjective to describe the noun. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Are you done playing? Yes. Okay. What's the next noun? Uh, let's go over here to clock. Okay. I can touch it. It's a noun. What about Easter Bunny? Easter Bunny is a it's a it's a thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it's a noun. Okay, go ahead. A can of peanuts is a noun. Whoa! Ah! It's still a noun. Noun. All right, you're rolling. I am rolling. Yes. So just now you saw some craziness about nouns. Definitely crazy. So what we know is that a noun is a person, place, person, a place, or a thing. Essentially, a noun is something that you can touch. So if you're at your house, anything that you can touch around your house is going to be a noun. It's a physical object, usually. Um, so what we want you to do now is we want you to find in your house maybe a bowl or a pot or pan. Um, and while you, um, I'll, we'll tell you kind of what you would need in your house and then you can pause it while you gather those things. Okay. So we're going to get a bowl and then we have cards already cut up like index cards. You can use regular white paper, colored paper, anything that you have at home that you can write on get little scraps, little scraps. Absolutely. And then all you have to do with these scraps is we'll eventually write on them. So go ahead and grab those and you can tear those up. We have ours nice and neat. Go ahead and just do what Mr. Tenbor did. And then something to write with. Um, probably not a permanent marker because parents don't usually like those, but a pen or pencil and then a washable marker. Cool. All right, um, and then you can pause while you go get those things. And then when you come back, we'll be right here. And we're back. Now, yeah, now we're back, okay. <laughs> So um, what we want you to do now is we want you to take these cards and we want you to just look around the house and write down 10 nouns that you can find. And these are going to be used for a later activity called silly sentences. So pick things that you think are funny, like toilet, for example. Um, that's always going to make for a silly sentence. So Mr. Tenbor and I are going to do this right alongside you. So um, let's get started. Mr. Tenbor, you're going to write some? Yeah, I got some. You got some? Mm, what do you have? Keychain. That's a good one. So when you get done with it, go ahead and fold it up and put it in your bowl. Yes, Evelyn, I'm doing a video, but what's up? Um, every time I try to write a note, 
shirt. That's a noun because well, I can touch every, it. Mommy, every time when I try to write, mm -hmm. um, everybody mm. and I hear Paul stuff and talking and I can't finish it. Okay, well, why don't you go in the other room and do it, okay? Ooh. Ooh, how about um, leg? Hot Cheeto. Yeah, but hot. Oh, just Cheetos. Hot is an adjective. Just the Cheetos is the noun. Mr. Temple, what are you teaching these kids? Leg. All your body parts are nouns. Well, I know how much they like hot Cheetos. How many do we have? You four. write your own, though. We're writing our own. You write your own. We only have four so far. We're not really good at this. Um, bottle. Well, we're doing a lot of things. What about eyeball? Eyeball. I was actually going to do eyeball. What? That's weird. This. Man, I see my dad over there. Man. Woman. I looked outside for this one. Roof. Ooh, good one. It's on the roof. And we have to fold it. I think we might already have ten in here, but. Oh, we have a lot of dogs in this house, so I'll do dog. Ooh. I'm wearing these. Sock. Nice. Okay, once you get done with that, I want you to take that pile and put it to the side because now we're going to go talk about verbs. If you're not ready yet, go ahead and put your um, phone on pause or put your iPad on pause and then come back to us when you have all 10 nouns in a bowl. The next part of speech we're going to talk about is a verb. And a verb is something you do. do. So now, you ready for your first verb? I'm sure you got that one. That was run. Ready for your next verb? Open. Ready for your next verb? Pour. Ready for your next verb? Drink. Whoa, you just did three verbs in like Ready for five your next seconds. Verb? Swallow. Ready for your next verb? Digest. Ready for your next verb? Pick. Ready for your next verb? Chomp. Ready for your next verb? Eat. Ready for your next verb? Chew. Mmm, that's a lot of verbs. Ready for your next verb? Anthony, pause. Pause. Next verb. Read. Oh, you want another one? How about we... Sure. Cut. These are good verbs. How about another one? Why don't we... Right. Call me. Okay. That's Ready for the next one? Climb. Whoa! Ah. And fall. Go ahead. There are a lot of verbs with a car. You can start the car. Oh, don't forget to buckle. Buckle your seatbelt. Reverse the car. Wait, what was the verb? Reverse is a verb. Okay. All right. Now there's another thing we can do. We can drive the car. That's a good verb. And one more park the car is you one can, more verb. What park. was the park? Gotcha. But now should we go back to where we were? What? Reverse again. We are reversing the car. Reverse is a verb. We're so good at verbs. We are. Wait, do I say that was fun? <laughs> yeah, you can say that was fun. It's ready. Wow, verbs are a lot of fun, especially when someone falls. What a <laughs> that, verb. That hurt. We're, <laughs> you know, if there's one thing we're really good at, it's verbs. Mm -hmm. All right, so we have our bowl of nouns. So now at home, I want you to get 10 more pieces of paper. And this time, I mean, we have these, but I think we should just, you know, this is pretty simple too. We don't need Rip that. It up. Just rip up a piece of paper and put in your verbs. Now, don't forget to end, for these sentences, we need to end the verbs with S, like it's happening right now, 
okay? So for example, if you wanna use walk as a verb, put an S at the end, so put the word walks, okay? So let's go ahead, let's do 10 of them. Okay. Um, I'm gonna do falls because I know a lot about falling. You are. Although fall is actually a multiple meaning word for all of you kids that have me for speech. Fall is a season. Fall and fall is also something that you do, so it's a verb. So I have falls, what do you have? I have watches. Ooh, watches, that's a good one. Watch somebody do something. You watch. Like watch somebody fall on the ladder. Exactly. Um, and they can be your own verbs, okay? Not something that we, doesn't have to necessarily be something that we were just doing. Be creative, ask your family. Hey, can you give me a verb? Perfect. Sleeps. I do that a lot. Oh, oh, good one. I got catches. Catches baseball. You're performing that thing. You're catching the ball. You're, he is really good at verbs, isn't he? I love verbs. Love doing stuff. I love, love doing stuff. Oh, reads. Here's a simple right one. Right here. Plays. Play with somebody at home. Oh, good one. But don't play too many video games. No. Video mm. games are boring. Boring. Fun games are board games. Like, sorry. Yeah, and doing verbs. Yes. Oh, sneezes. Oh, I just had one. Sneezes. That's a verb. We're going to put that in our pot. Because that's the one thing we found in this household that can hold things. Holds! I'm like, you know, I'm now you're crushing me here. I just had a really good one. Holds. Coughs. Okay. It has a lot to do with today's this does. Pro issues. Mm. Ooh. Leaps. Oh, kind of like jumping. Kind of like jumping. Yeah. Leaps. Those are synonyms. They are. They both have the I same love, I, We should do a whole separate video on synonyms. I synonyms love synonyms. synonyms. You guys know do we have 10? I yeah, feel like we have 10. to have 10. Okay. I don't have to come up with another one. Once you have 10, go ahead and put those to the side, and we're going to move on to adjectives. And we are getting back into the things here. Into the things? Yes. <laughs> okay. So, so far we've, dis we've discussed two parts of speech, the nouns and the verbs. The noun is the thing and the verb is what that thing does or what you do. Okay, so now we have to actually describe the noun though. We have, like we have for example this rabbit, but it's not really anything cool unless you describe it. So for example, we're going to take 10 objects from the house and place them in front of us. And once we have 10, we have to come up with at least one to two words to describe each object. So go ahead right now, um, go around the house, pick out 10 objects that you can find. Any 10 nouns that you can find, pick them up, bring them over to the table, and then come back here. So go ahead and pause it while you do that. And we are okay, back. Yeah. And now we're back. back. <laughs> well, that was quick, guys. Mm, well done. Okay. So um, we're going to go ahead and take another bucket, our third bucket, for our adjectives. So Adjective bucket. Adjective. Very nice. It describes all of these nouns. So we're going to use some... Nice green cards. You can use whatever cards you have. Um, and we're going to start writing our adjectives. So let's start with this bunny rabbit. Mr. Tembor, can you use a word to describe this bunny rabbit? Describing. Telling you about the bunny. How would I describe this bunny? I would say he's very... Well, he runs, but that's mm, that's a verb, it's though. It's a verb. Running but how, a verb. But how would, would he runs very... Fast. Fast. Ooh, fast. This is a fast rabbit. Very fast. That describes how he runs. So we're gonna go ahead and put that adjective in here. He's, oh, I think he's cute. Oh, good one. What do you think? I think, well, I think that the bunny's very, what is he, silver? He's oh, silver. He's silver. Nice, there's one yep. too. Good. Silver's describing. That's, oh my gosh, that's three, just to describe oh, a bunny. Wow. We can be done with the bunny. But he's a cute little bunny. All right, um, we have a candle. Mm. Mm. Ow! No, oh, jeez! Careful. It's not on. Oh. <laughs> it's a pretend candle. Go. But typically candles are very... Whew. Hot. Oh, hot's a good describing word. Thank you. All right, go ahead and write that one down. I like it. Ooh, this candle is... Ooh, it's like a circle, kind of. So for an adjective, we would say that it's... A circular candle. Or round. I like circular. 
circular is fine. Circular around, either are fine. Oh, back to the Game Boy. This thing is not new. Let it's me tell you, I had this. 1995 or something? Probably before that. We had this a long time ago, so it's pretty ancient, I would say. Wow. Ancient, which and it is, is a synonym for old. Mm-hmm. And then it's a Game Boy Color, so I can describe it just by telling its color. So it is a green Game Boy. Let's say green. Green, that's good. Ooh, you know what? This used to provide hours and hours of entertainment. So I would say that this was pretty entertaining. Ooh, that's a good one. Entertaining. Yeah, that one. Right. Does anybody have something at home that's entertaining? Entertaining. Like, Mr. Timbor likes the show The Office. That's entertaining for him. It is. And it's time. funny. Funny, another there's another adjective. adjective. All right, done with the Game Boy. What about mm, the slime? It's nice. very slimy. I know that much. Sli <laughs> it's slimy. The That's slimy an slime. Describing slimy. the slime. I would say that it's it's, it's smushy. Gooey. 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 Gooey slime. There no. you go. Describing gooey. the slime. It's not hard slime. It's gooey slime. That's true. It's gooey. Let's put that one away. It's gooey. It's colorful. Oh, it's kind of um, sparkly. El elastic. Sparkly. Oh my gosh. I'm getting sparkly. I didn't know. Is that Do good? Do you see those sparkles in there? It's a sparkly slime. Okay. Oh, it's fun. Fun slime. Oh, I would say fun. Go ahead and write fun. That's a good one. I'm hungry. I sure love the cocoa puffs. I'm cooking for them. Hmm. They're delicious. Are you kidding me? What? How are you that good at these? What happened? You said an adjective. What? <gasps> delicious. Delicious cocoa puffs. I'm gonna chew those delicious cocoa puffs. Do we have enough? Uh, we have more than enough. Oh, but water. Just, water is wet. Is wet. Wet water. Wet water. Awesome. All right. I think cool. we have enough adjectives Yay. right now. So at this point, we should have a bucket of nouns. Mm -hmm. Bucket of very nice verbs. A bucket of verbs. And, and a bucket of adjectives. But nice. if we're really gonna put these in order, we're gonna have the adjective before the noun because the adjective describes, describes the, the noun. noun and then that noun does something mm -hmm. right yep all right perfect we're gonna get back to you in a second with the activity okay so now we have our pile of adjectives right here so go ahead and put your adjectives out put your um, nouns and put your verbs um, we actually made this chart for you to see while we do it so the way the sentences are gonna work they're gonna say the and then you're going to pick an adjective noun verb and then we're going to have the adjective noun okay now these sentences are going to be kind of strange goofy. and yeah they're going to be goofy so sometimes like when you pick a word like um roof like a roof doesn't sleep for example <laughs> but sometimes in our little stories or in our sentence silly sentences they will do those things um but anyways these are real since we can make these into real sentences so um go ahead and we'll have the in the beginning and then go ahead and pull an adjective. Okay, the wet. And then Mr. Tembor needs to pick a noun. Shirt. The wet shirt. And then after that, we need a verb. So what does the wet shirt do? It is going to read. Wet shirt reads. The wet shirt reads the. And go ahead and pick an adjective. Gooey. Reads the gooey. And then we need a noun. Bottle. <laughs> the wet Best shirt <laughs> reads the gooey bottle. That's a great sentence. Can you make one with a period at the end because we can't forget our punctuation? I sure can. Go ahead and rip that up. Period. There it is. Awesome. So that's our first sentence. We would love to hear some of your first sentences that you made. So go ahead and ask your parents to um, text us the sentences that you're making if they're silly. And um, go ahead and drop it in the comments if you have a really good silly sentence. Here's another silly sentence of ours. So remember, we do the adjective noun verb, the adjective noun. So Mr. Tembor, let's do an adjective. The. Ooh. Big word, ancient. Ancient. Woman. Ancient woman. Don't ask her her age, but we'll just call her ancient right now. Holds. Holds. The. the uh, 
Circular. Circular. Hopefully this isn't say box. <laughs> Eyeball. Hey, oh, perfect. that's good. The eyeball is circular. It makes sense. So, Mr. Timber, what's our full sentence? We got the ancient woman holds the circular eyeball. That is a silly like sentence. It. Don't forget to let us know your sentences in the comments below or have your parents text us or email us at our um, school email address. Go ahead and say this is fun. This is fun. Let's keep going. <laughs> okay. Let's do it. Let's pull another one. Hey, let me pull them this time. Okay. I got okay, it. You hold camera, this up camera, here. Camera. Okay. So, we have the adjective. The sparkly which is going to describe the noun, the sparkly keychain. Ooh, Ooh what does I have the sparkly one of those. keychain do? Plays. Ooh. Plays the, let's see, entertaining. Okay. Okay, so it must You're be You're playing something entertaining. Here we go. Plays the entertaining leg, almost like playing the entertaining guitar, but a leg instead. So we've got the sparkly keychain, which is our noun, does what? Plays the... Entertaining what leg, period. Pretty good sentence. Very good. All right. Wow, I had fun, Mrs. Gosh. I know, don't we always We covered have? a lot today. <laughs> we sure did. Um, so I guess some takeaways from today, the, some of the parts of speech we want you to remember are nouns, which basically what we want you to know right now is anything you can touch, um, or it's a place or a person, like Mr. Tempor. Um, and then the thing that actually describes the noun is the adjective. So if we're going to sit here and we're going to describe Mr. Timbor. Everybody knows I'm tall. There we go. He's tall. Um, I would say sometimes he's really smart. And handsome. Handsome. Funny. Hilarious. Cool. Cool. Lots of good words to describe Mr. Timbor. And then um, the verb is actually what the tall man does. What am I doing? Does. I'm sitting right now. Sitting. There you go. So I'm those are the three things we want you to remember, okay? Noun adjectives and verbs um let us know if you have any questions about those things give your um ask your parents to text me if you have any questions if there's something that is confusing to you or you need to learn more about let us know and we will do this kind of activity again next week but a little harder keep working on those silly sentences today and let us know if you have any really awesome sentences okay bye keep reading keep reading